What if we introduced one of the most fearsome predators from the frozen north into the world's largest tropical rainforest? Imagine wolves roaming the Amazon. How would they adapt? Would they thrive? Or would this delicate ecosystem collapse under the pressure of a new predator? Let's dive in and find out. Wolves are legendary hunters, fierce, adaptable, and built for endurance. From the frozen tundras of Canada to the temperate forests of North America and Europe, they've ruled as top predators for centuries. But what happens when you take this cold weather carnivore and throw it into the steamy, humid depths of the Amazon rainforest? Could they even survive in this vastly different environment? Let's start with where wolves actually live. There are two main types of wolves, gray wolves and red wolves. Gray wolves have a massive range from Canada to Russia, across the US and Europe, even reaching parts of Asia like India and China. They're found in forests, tundras, mountains, and even grasslands and deserts. While they're most famous for thriving in cold climates, gray wolves are incredibly adaptable. On the other hand, red wolves are more limited. Once spread across much of the US, they now only survive in a small area of North Carolina. They used to live in forests, swamps, and coastal prairies, enduring both hot Texas summers and freezing Pennsylvania winters. So it's clear that both gray and red wolves can handle a range of temperatures. But what about the Amazon? The Amazon, Earth's largest rainforest and home to an incredible variety of wildlife. Over 3,000 species of fish, 1,300 species of birds, and more than 400 different mammals call this place home. From the fearsome jaguars to giant river otters and tapirs, the Amazon is a hotbed of biodiversity. But here's where things get tricky. The Amazon is also home to some dangerous predators, like the jaguar, whose bite can crush bones, and the black caiman, a powerful reptile that lurks in the rivers with jaws strong enough to crush anything that crosses its path. Could wolves really stand a chance in this predator-packed jungle? Wolves are nothing if not adaptable. They can thrive in extreme cold like the tundra, but they can also handle deserts and temperate forests. The key to their success? Endurance and teamwork. Wolves are pack hunters working together to take down large prey like deer and moose. But in the Amazon, they'd face an entirely new set of challenges. Let's imagine we introduce two packs, one of gray wolves and one of red wolves, into the Amazon rainforest. How would they react? At first, the climate would be a shock. While red wolves are more used to warmer climates, gray wolves, who thrive in colder environments, would take some time to adjust. The thick, humid air and 82 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures during the dry season would be far different from the icy tundras they're used to. But wolves are survivors, and with time, both packs would adapt. The Amazon is a paradise for herbivores, with animals like deer, tapirs, and capybaras grazing in abundance. But with wolves on the scene, that could change quickly. These predators are endurance hunters. They don't rely on quick ambushes like jaguars. Instead, they chase their prey over long distances, exhausting them before going in for the kill. But there's competition in the Amazon. Jaguars are powerful, stealthy predators capable of ambushing prey with lightning-fast strikes. While wolves can run long distances, jaguars are faster in short bursts, and their bite force is legendary. 1,500 pounds per square inch, enough to crack a tortoise shell. Would wolves stand a chance against these jungle kings? One of the most dangerous threats to wolves in the Amazon wouldn't come from jaguars. It would come from the water. The black caiman, a massive reptile, could easily ambush a wolf trying to drink from the river. At 14 feet long and weighing over 1,000 pounds, this predator can snap its jaws with thousands of pounds of pressure making it a deadly rival for wolves. But wolves are smart. They'd quickly learn to avoid dangerous spots, sticking to safer areas for drinking and hunting. Over time, they develop new strategies, just like they do when dealing with larger predators like bears and cougars in their natural habitats. They're not strangers to competition, and they'd figure out how to survive, even in the face of fierce Amazon predators. So what would happen to the Amazon itself if wolves became a permanent part of the ecosystem? For starters, herbivores like deer, tapirs, and capybaras would face increased pressure. Wolves would add another predator to the mix, 
which could shift the balance of prey animals in the rainforest. While wolves would compete with jaguars for prey, they wouldn't completely upset the balance. The Amazon is large enough, and its ecosystem is diverse enough to support both predators. Jaguars and wolves might occasionally lose a meal to each other, but it wouldn't lead to the extinction of any species. So could wolves survive in the Amazon rainforest? Absolutely. They're adaptable, intelligent, and skilled hunters. While they'd face new challenges like jaguars and black caimans, they'd eventually find their place in this lush, complex ecosystem. The real question is, how would the Amazon change with wolves in it? Herbivores would be under more pressure and the balance between predators would shift. But one thing is clear, wolves would thrive and life in the Amazon would never be the same again.